Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Teeters, a artist in residence at the University of Florida Center for Arts and Medicine graduate program. I have created a project that spreads kindness throughout the community um, based off of an understanding of compassion and what I believe is needed in certain demographics. So I started out with what is compassion and where we can find it and how we can help further spread it throughout the community. Um, compassion is understanding what others feel and knowing their history and a little bit about them so we can better help them um, live better lives. The initial idea came out when I was thinking about just being grateful for people in our lives and people in our community. And I really originally wanted to be like a thank you project. And you'll see further on in the um, presentation how it kind of evolved into something a little bit, a little bit deeper. The initial importance of this project was to express gratitude for people that don't really generally receive appreciation for the things that they, they do. There's a lot that goes into our day to day and a lot of different cogs and not a lot of people get the um, thanks and representation that they deserve. So the idea was that I would create these handmade cards with thank you um, letters basically on them and hand them out to people in the community. And as it kind of progressed, it changed from just saying thank you to something a little bit deeper, but I wanted it to be nonetheless hand, handmade. Um, the people that were involved in it, the um, or the recipients, the people that I believe needed it the most, um, and I'll explain further why I believe that, and the participants who helped me with it were actually some young individuals that were part of an art pro uh, program that I was helping with. The creation was using a technique that we had tried in our um, creative arts camp that involved using shaving cream and food coloring along with just basic paper to create this beautiful watercolor effect that turned out really nice. Um, so we used that for the design. Um, the individuals that helped me with it were um, children ages five to 12 um, they were part of the creative arts program and I felt that it was important to include them because starting at a young age I think it was really vital that they learn about compassion and spreading kindness. As we finished the pictures I took them back with me to my house and started to write down the thank you things and I just felt like thank you wasn't enough and with the creative process and this kind of like self transcendence it started to turn into more of why I was grateful for people and what made me appreciate them. So as I was writing them, things became like, you know, thank you for being wonderful. And then it was, you're valued and you're treasured and don't forget that you're important and things that I feel like people needed to hear on a daily basis that they might not hear all the time. There were two different ways that I distributed, the, distributed these um, cards. There was 40 cards total. Um, 20, uh, 20 of them I gave out personally, and then 20 of them I kind of left in different places that I felt people might need to have them, like in baby sections at stores and things like that, places that they might need to have a little pick-me-up, because parenting is hard. Um, so I felt that finding these locations, like again, you know, in a, in a baby store, in a baby section, some places where, you know, they would find them and just read them and feel just a kind of sense of I'm not alone. I have somebody that's, you know, that cares about me. The people that I chose to use, or not to use, but to give these cards to, were people that worked in healthcare, in food service, in um, retail, because I personally have worked in food service and I've worked in retail and things like that. And I understand the stressors that come with it and the need to have someone just say, I'm thankful and I'm grateful for you. I chose to start the day doing this. So in the morning I um, started early. So that way they had these going into the day to kind of change how their day turned out. So, which was actually turned out to be a really good idea because it kind of changed my day as well. Um, I found that as I was driving around town, I wasn't as stressed while I was driving, which was quite nice. Um, and it, it changed me quite a bit. My mental 
state kind of was altered as I was doing this. Um, there were three different ways that I felt that this compassion project was able to kind of spread kindness. Um, it embodied compassion because it, I understood and, uh, and respected the struggles that these individuals were going through with the work that they do. Um, it's brought out a lot of good in other people, um, through some people expressed that they were, you know, amazed that I was doing something like this. And it was not even that I was seeking any sort of, you know, approval or anything, but it was nice to hear. And then it educated not only the younger ones that I was working with, but it educated others on, on helping and being a part of um, something bigger. The participant responses ranged anywhere from one person was completely indifferent and could not care. And then one was moved to tears, which was very impactful to me. And it meant a lot to me to see that something as small as saying, I appreciate you went a very long way. So that was the, every, every sort of reaction meant a lot to me, but the ones that were Jen, you could tell they were genuinely moved by it meant a lot. My internal impact from this was, I feel like I was changed as I was going through it because I started as nervous and how are they going to react to this? And then during with the creative flow and it became therapeutic to write down all these kind things to give to people. And it was a mood booster to just be able to know that what I was creating was really helping people. And then afterwards, I was surprisingly energetic. I, I was in a really great mood. And even if somebody were to cut me off in traffic, I was in a, a really wonderful mood. So I was okay. 